Hey Craftaholics, I'm Megan Ryan and welcome back to Making the Cut. So guys, today we are going to be making this cute little sign. I am so excited about it. I actually um, decided to add a little ribbon back here so that I can actually hang it on my front door and it's been so cute hanging on the door. Um, I want to apologize for taking so long to get some content out here. It has been a crazy couple of months in the Ryan household, but we're back to it. And I just thank y'all for waiting patiently. Um, you might notice I have a little bit different of a setup. We are doing some uh, rearranging in the Ryan household and my husband's actually going to be moving his office into my studio. So I have condensed everything to my little corner here and um, we're gonna be sharing some space. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let me show you how I made this cute little pig sign. Okay, let's go into design space. And I'm going to start a new project. So we'll just come over here, click on this. Okay, so I have a blank canvas. I'm gonna start with text and I'm gonna do two different kinds of text for this design. I'm gonna show you how to do curved text and also um, how to change your fonts. So let's choose our first text, go here. And when you click on this, it's running a little slow. Let's give it a second. Let's try that again. Here he goes. Okay, so this is just the generic text. I'm going to go ahead and type this little piggy in this section. And then I'm going to click text again. And I'm gonna write stayed home. Now, this part, I want to change that font. So I'm gonna move him down, well, move him up. And then uh, this one we're going to curve. And then this one we're gonna change the font. So let's look here. I want something cursive-y, so I'm just gonna scroll down. If you don't have Cricut Access, you need Cricut Access. It is so good. Let's see, I like this one. Oh, my battery's low. Okay, so um, got some sev several things up here. Um, I'm gonna make this cursive a little bit closer together. We wanna line up all of our letters. So that one looks nice. Now I'm going to take this little piggy and we're gonna curve it just a little bit. So I use this little thing here. You cannot do this on the actual app. You have to do curved text on a desktop. So just a little thing to remember there. Okay, so now I'm gonna center these. So I go to a line. And we're centering horizontally. So I love this. I'm gonna to go to images and uh, we're gonna add a little pig here to the center. So I'm gonna search cute pig. And look at all these little babies. So I'm just gonna take a peek down here. He's cute, not quite what I'm looking for though. And we're just gonna see what we can find. Oh. Yep, that's the one. All right, so I'm going to add to canvas. And he's too big, so I'm gonna make him a little smaller. I'm gonna stick him in there. He's still a little big. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so now I'm gonna highlight all of those again and recenter them. I could have waited to center them, but I'd, I'd like to see how it looks before I move on. So now he's nice and centered. And then I am going to weld these together so that they're one cut file. And that's it, we're ready to make it. So, um,
If I was doing this on vinyl, I would want to mirror this. We'll just come back over here and click edit. And I'm gonna turn the mirror off. Um, Cause I'm actually gonna put this on foil instead of uh, heat transfer vinyl. You can also, I'm doing a wood sign. You can use heat transfer vinyl, um, but I actually, I wanna just go ahead and use this foil cause that's what I had that was in the color I needed. So, now that we are connected, I am going to go over here to browse all materials. Okay, and then I'm going to search foil. And I'm just using this adhesive foil right here. So we we'll click on that, click done. It automatically does my uh, fine point blade and everything. Show it on my thing here. And we're ready to cut. All right, I've got this wood uh, sign that I've got from Dollar Tree. It's actually from the Dollar and More section. Um, so I paid $5 for this wood tray, I think is what it actually is. And I'm giving it a nice even coat of white acrylic paint. It's just um, the Apple Barrel brand, easy to use acrylic paint. So I just wanna make sure that I get all the little nooks and crannies here. And I'm also making sure that I brush it with the wood grain to allow it to kind of hide those brush strokes in it. I'm gonna distress this later anyway, so I'm not super concerned, but I want to really see the wood grain through the white paint. So I'm just going around and making sure there's not any little globs anywhere. And now I'm ready to let that dry. So I'm just rubbing the bottom to make sure there's no paint that's gonna get on other things as I move on to the next spot. So here's my cut file. I'll move this out of the way and I'm gonna start trimming up my vinyl. Um, I actually used foil. So I'm trimming it so that I don't waste the rest of that foil. So that'll save it for another project. So now I'm just pulling the paper off of the foil. Foil comes off so nicely that it's really kind of satisfying to watch. So I'm keeping my scraps over here because when I start to weed out all the little stuff, it gives me a place to stick them real nicely so they're out of the way. When you're doing foil, um, it's a really thick material, so you do kind of have to poke deep into the paper as well to get it out. And then that's going to allow you to pull it up without bending the rest of your cut file. Um, with foil, it will bend and leave creases in it, so you wanna make sure that you do not do anything that's going to mess up the actual good pieces. So I just kind of poke it through the paper and the foil at the same time, and then that allows it to separate enough where I can pull it up without bending my original file. So I really like the foil. I love how cute my little piggy is. And um, I did this, this is like a tealy blue color to match my living room. I've almost got it all done. Just a couple more. So if you've known me for any amount of time, you know that pigs have been my favorite animal since I was little and I just couldn't resist when I saw a little, um, it was a, well, a wall hanging artwork piece at Hobby Lobby and it said this little piggy stayed home and I just thought it was the cutest thing 
but it had a pink pig and I do not like pink pigs. I want white pigs, black pigs, brown pigs, spotted pigs, any other pig except pink. So now we're just going to cut out our transfer tape. I'm using strong grip and I'm just going to take that paper off. I'm going to save that for a little bit later and then start in the center, push it on and then I'm going to use my tool to make sure I get a nice stick onto everything. So if it starts catching like that, just rub it again and again. You can also flip it over so that the white part is the one going. Sometimes that helps it along. This one was wanting to give me some trouble, all these little bitty cut pieces. So we're just going to give it a little extra help here. There you go. And pull the rest off. Now I'm going to use that back and stick it right back on there. Save that for later. That keeps any um, dirt and dust and everything from getting on my cut file. So now I'm just using a sanding block and rubbing just all around, trying to give it a little bit of a weathered look. I'm going to use my cloth and get off all that extra dust. Okay, so now I am ready to put this guy on. I'm gonna line him up. Okay, and then use my tool again to make sure I get him nice and adhesed. Rub it all over different directions. Peel it off and look, it just comes off like butter. Love it. All right, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit here. So now we're ready to apply the uh, hangers. So I just got a little pack of ring hangers. I got them on sale for 49 cents at Hobby Lobby, but um, these work really well. I'm using my square to get a nice straight line there. If I was going to sell this, I probably would use chalk instead of the pen, but this is just for me. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. Just using a little screwdriver, screwing those in. And there we go. So just making sure that I get all of those in really well. Flip them back over. I was having some trouble with my hot glue gun, so I switched to glue dots, but that actually worked out really well. So I'm using glue dots. I got these from the Dollar Tree, um, and so I'm going to use quite a bit of them, but they're from the Dollar Tree, so it's not like I spent a whole bunch of money and I didn't. Uh, I didn't even use half of the pack that I got from Dollar Tree. So um, this greenery I got from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale for $3. And I still have a whole bunch of pieces of it. I just kind of chopped it off of its stem. And then I'm just going to wrap this entire plaque with this little vine thing. So, and I'm letting some little pieces hang out um, just to give it some character. It gives a nice little fresh take of um, the sign and really kind of uh, takes it up a notch. It's a, it looks classier and um, just more formal when you do it like this. So, I'm going to keep on wrapping. So the glue dots worked really well because I was actually able to keep adding all these layers using the same glue dots. So it actually worked out in my favor. Um, I don't know what's going on with my glue gun. I think it was the fact I left it on and uh, the glue stick that is in it has kind of burned inside of it. So that was my fault. It looks like it's time for a new glue gun, but I digress. Okay, so I got this part and this one side looks more full than the other side. So I'm just going to add a little bit over here to the other side um, just to give it a little bit more depth. And um, I'm cutting it as well so that I can have a couple more of the little 
uh, vines sticking out in different areas. So we're just gonna add a couple more to that side. This brought me so much joy as I'm making this and seeing this little pig smiling at me. It's the little things in life. You gotta treasure all those moments. Okay, so this is the last little piece on this side. Just to have a couple more little pieces sticking out like that. I'm gonna add just a little bit more over here. And I just kind of weaved that in. Now, I'm using just a burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. My scissors are so dull, I need to sharpen them. So, I'm gonna gnaw at that a little bit. There we go, all right, so I'm making my ribbon, just folding it, and then I'm going to use some more of that greenery, just tuck it in there. Just to give it a nice fresh take. And then I'm just tying a little knot in the back of the bow. I'm saw with my scissors again to get that off the spool itself. These guys need sharpened so bad. Okay, so there is my bow. Let's pull that out so I'm sticking back in there. And I'm gonna use another little glue dot on the back of that. And there we go. I'll probably trim up those um, the edges on my ribbon, but my scissors were so dull I could not get that going. So um, I have a flower here that was left over from another project I did, and I felt like I needed to balance this look. So um, these flowers I bought for another project I'm doing next week. So I'm gonna save those, but I'm using the little leaves with the same glue dot, just tucking it all in there. So guys, full disclaimer, I did actually have to go out, buy a new um, hot glue gun, and reinforce all of the glue dots. Um, what happened is I hung this on my front door, went to go pick my daughter up from work, came home, and everything had fallen off of the sign. So it was pretty depressing. So got a hot glue gun, glued everything back on, not had any problems ever since. So just want to make sure we know sometimes we have a couple little hiccups, but it's okay. That's part of crafting. So thank y'all so much for uh, spending this time with me today and y'all just keep on making.